Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 26th, 2020. So yesterday, more new records in the market. We had the NASDAQ pushing on up. We had the S&P 500 pushing on up. But we saw the Dow being a little bit more um, restful. Um, it was as if it was trying to recover from a bit of a party hangover. Just needed a little bit of a rest in there after the big move on Monday. So what does that mean for this morning? Well, how about we saddle up? Grab ourselves something to drink, settle into our office chairs, and prepare for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So this morning we have futures kind of floating around the flat line. We, we've we been just a little bit um, apprehensive, I think, about the news coming out today. And um, as we wait for that FOMC policy speech coming up on Thursday from Jerome Powell. So the market is just kind of floating around here uh, this morning. But what I have to, when we look at the technicals of the charts, there really is nothing in here that shows even a remote inclination of bearishness at the moment let's take a look if we draw a trend up here on the chart you can see we're extremely bullish in the market we've broken through resistance highs we've held it as support and just a little bit of rest after more than a 300 point move on monday we had just a little bit of a hangover a little we partied a little bit too hard here in the dow and a little bit of rest and pullback um it doesn't hurt this chart at all as a matter of fact probably helps a little bit if we were to kind of slip back or consolidate a little bit Nothing wrong with that in the chart. Of course, if we pull all the way back into here to support and trend, also that doesn't hurt the chart. Maybe a little bit disappointing, but it won't hurt the chart at all. We'll stay very, very bullish. If we take a look at our moving averages in here, moving averages, very bullish, 50 is a long ways away from current price, which would suggest we are stretched out in a pullback or consolidation could occur at any time, but we are still holding that bullish trend. So at least at the moment, there's no reason to believe um, that we're ready to fall. Let's take a look. Um, whoops. Let's take a look back here on um, this very simple chart and remember that we also have resistance above here in the Dow that we're dealing with. So although we're quite bullish, we're just popping our head into some price resistance here and we're showing a little bit of a struggle with that. But at the moment, trends are very bullish. Now, it's really probably going to come down to exactly how the market responds to the Jerome Powell policy change that they're talking about doing on um, inflation, where it would suggest that we're going to keep interest rates low for the foreseeable future, very low for the seeable future until they experience an inflationary move um, in um, the economy. Now, I don't know um, what the details of that are going to be, but I suspect that the market will react very favorably to the idea that, hey, we're just gonna keep rates very, very low uh, for a period of time and try to inspire inflation. That could certainly perk this market up and keep those bulls in solid control. Um, of the market. Let's take a look at our SPY. SPY holding up very, very strong. New record highs yesterday, pushing on through. There's just nothing in this chart that suggests bearishness whatsoever. Um, showing lots of strength. Now, a rest or pullback or consolidation of some kind in here um, would make some sense. We're, we're kind of stretching um, this rubber band to the upside a little bit hard. Doesn't mean we can't go um, on up, but just a little bit of rest or pullback would make some sense um, overall. So don't be surprised if we just pause a little while. Um, our trends and our um, moving averages 
everything is bullish here um, in the S&P 500 as we continue to um, set new record highs. Um, this morning, we're looking at a relatively flat open in the market where the Dow is looking for a little bit of a pullback. Um, but just kind of a flat open this morning ahead of some uh, data that could move us around a little bit. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Now, the NASDAQ also rallied up, setting a new record high close yesterday, pushing on through as we continue to drive these big techs higher. It looked as if we were going to see a little bit of selling first thing in the morning in some of those big techs, but the rush came right back in and bought up any little dip in those big techs seemed to be um, an inspiration to just buy more, no matter what the price those stocks are. So we had a really nice move here um, in the NASDAQ, pushing it up more record highs, very, very bullish. Um, once again, about the only thing that I can mention in these that is a little bit concerning is just how far we are away from our 50-day moving average and that possibility that at any time we could start experiencing that pullback to come back and test that level. We're a little stretched, um, but that's okay as long as we continue to find ways to inspire those bulls. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, like the Dow, struggled just a little bit yesterday. We pulled back and then pushed higher um, at the end of the day. Um, no damage in this chart, um, technically. Um, as you can see, we continue to remain in a very bullish trend, holding support in that chart. We still obviously have resistance that we need to deal with in this chart, but at least at this point, there are no, there's no evidence of any uh, big move by the bears to attack. Now we're looking at a little bit of a bearish open this morning here, just a little teeny tiny pullback. We're seeing that in IWM and the Dow, but um, no, no major attack going on just yet. Let's take a look at the VIX. The VIX is still very perplexing. We continue to set new record highs and the VIX is stubbornly not moving down. Um, holding above a 22 handle at the close of yesterday. And this line I've got marked in here um, showing that price support here in the VIX, we just cannot seem to crack down through that 20 handle here in the VIX. And we continue to hold onto that 500 day moving average. Now our 50 day moving average has crossed down through the 200 and that is bullish for us pushing that back down. But we just can't seem to get any reduction in fear in the market. Um, that kind of leaves us with that open door that if we do get that shocking move, if something comes up and disappoints those bulls and we see those bears rush in, we could get that really quick spike up. So we have to stay on our toes here. Don't become over, over complacent and be really careful with over trading um, um, a market that is so extended. We we sometimes just feel like, oh my gosh, we're missing out. I've got to hurry up and keep buying. But you want to be careful as these stocks continue to extend out. Um, <clears throat> we could run into a little bit of a problem here if that fear spike does come up. So don't become complacent. And let's take a look at T2101. This this gives me a bit of concern. We hit new record highs in the SPY and um, the QQQ. And notice that we saw a major decline in the absolute breadth index. That means we have fewer and fewer stocks holding things up. We, we enjoyed a nice little push up on Monday in that we saw a little bit better response overall in the market, but we just can't seem to break this downtrend. And if we take a look at our absolute breadth against our market indexes, we have a remarkable, a truly remarkable divergence going on. How much longer that can continue, I don't know, but our market breadth continues to decline 
in this downtrend as the market continues to trend higher. And that poses just a little bit of concern. That It means that we really need to stay on our toes and stay very focused in that price action and not become complacent. Let's take a look at T2122, the four week new high, new low ratio. And you can see yesterday, we just kind of had a bit of a pause. We popped up early in the day and then pulled back. <clears throat> If we take a look at this, we still have plenty of upside room. So if we can get some bullish inspiration, we could certainly rally up into this area. This morning we're looking at probably a flat open. Doesn't mean that we can't find the inspiration um, as the earnings reports come out and we get um, some important um, economic news. We'll talk about that in just a second. But we could certainly find that inspiration to uh, move on up, even though we're looking at a bit of a flat open, that possibility um, that pushes us on up into this area. And it may we may have to wait until Thursday to get that inspiration from Jerome Powell to push us up um, into these levels. So let's just keep an eye on that. Um, we're pushing up into those upper areas where we always want to be watchful for the potential of any profit taking or pullback. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. And what I was referring to, the things that we want to be paying attention to this morning in that economic calendar, we have a durable goods report. And that durable goods report um, unfortunately is expecting um, a decline. Now, as you can see, consensus is looking for a 4.3 number um, where the prior was 7.3. That's a substantial decline in that durable goods number. Um, of course, it can always come in better than consensus, consensus or worse than consensus. Um, let's watch that closely. That could move the market around a little bit today if it happens to disappoint um, coming in a little bit lower than what the consensus suggests. That could have a ripple effect in the market. We'll want to pay attention to that. Also keep in mind, we have a Fed speaker here at 10 a.m. And then we're going to get um, kind of an interesting report here on the petroleum status. Um, last couple of days, oil futures creeping up as, not creeping up, but moving up as um, Hurricane Laura kind of takes focus on the uh, Gulf Coast. Um, oil industry shutting down, gas prices are starting to move up as a result. Let's keep a close eye on that. If that happens to show any kind of uh, decline in supplies, um, that could certainly help bolster those um, oil sector stocks. We'll wanna watch that closely. Um, however, if it shows a, a build of supplies, uh, that could certainly um, have the opposite effect, moving those lower. So watch that carefully. Let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar today. Our earnings calendar, we have uh, 24, 25 companies reporting earnings with a few notables. Oops. Um, by the way, if um, you want to get a full list of the notables, um, make sure you click that link that is just right below the title of this video and you can go to the morning blog to take a look at those notable stocks that we'll be reporting today. Let's take a look at a couple here this morning. B-I-L-I um, will be, um, whoops, B There we go. BILI is reporting this morning. I can't type this morning. Uh, BILI will be reporting today. We'll want to keep a close eye on this. Notice this has been holding up nicely in here, holding into this pattern. And um, if we get a nice bullish report, that could certainly move us higher. Also take a look at Box. Um, Box is reporting uh, today. We'll want to pay attention to that. Looks like Box is gapping just a little bit higher. This has been in an ugly, ugly little downtrend here trying to make some higher lows in here now gapping up on that earnings report that could be a nice um, bullish catalyst to get this moving back higher keep an eye on box we have dick sporting goods 
they will be reporting. It looks like they are gapping substantially higher this morning on their earnings report. Dick Sporting Goods might be one you want to take a look at. NetApp, probably our biggest tech reporting today. NetApp um, is going to report. Um, looks like a bit ass spread. Nothing uh, has happened here yet today on that. I think the report is this afternoon. Um, we've been in a downtrend here in this chart. We could use a little bit of inspiration and a good earnings report to perk that up. So keep a close eye on Dick's or uh, NetApp. Um, a few others, uh, SPLK. Um, one you might want to pay attention to. This one's gapping a little bit higher this morning on its earnings report, but will be challenged by price resistance in the chart. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, if you could do me a favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube and also click that bell icon when it pops up. And if you find these videos to be useful, to be helpful to helping you plan your day, if you could please click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment, I truly appreciate it. It helps us continue to grow the channel. And I just want to say thanks to everyone who does watch and um, is supportive of the channel. It means a lot to me. You guys are awesome. I truly appreciate um, all the kind words in support of the effort to put these videos out every day. Thank you so much. You guys truly humble me every day um, as I read those comments. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up. Uh, please keep in mind that every time I show a stock in these videos, it's not a recommendation to buy or sell any security, but it is something that you might want to mark up, put on a list, start watching it, do your own due diligence and decide whether or not that chart is a chart worthy of a trade for you. No hyper prediction in these videos. I don't do any of that. I focus on the price action of the charts and look for high probability trades. And one of the trades I'm gonna bring up this morning um, that I really um, like the pattern um, in here is Baidu. Take a look at Baidu. Um, Baidu trying to break its downtrend here. And notice that we had a nice little double bottom in here where we tested this low and we tested this low. And now we've made a higher low, breaking through some resistance in the chart and trying to break that downtrend. All of those things point to um, a potential move where we may be beginning an uptrend. Let's watch this. It looks like Baidu is going to open about where it closed. Watch that in there. Now there's another potential here, and this happens quite often. We'll break through a downtrend in a chart, pop through, and then we have to come back and just test and make sure that we can hold it as support. Let's watch that, if that can hold that trend in here for that next possible entry into Baidu. Baidu setting up pretty well. We might want to keep a close eye on that. Take a look at KLAC. KLAC broke down its trend. Now this one actually could set up as a potential short. Um, this is the pattern that I look for for a potential short, and that is when we break down and break support. Rally back, all I need in here is a failure pattern. Give me a failure, and then we have created a lower high. Keep an eye on KLAC if you're looking for a potential short. Now, it was nice and bullish yesterday, running up here testing the underneath side of the last uptrend, but that's where we could see that little bit of trouble coming in. We bump our head into some price resistance and um, get some selling coming in there. So watch KLAC for that potential. Um, if this is going to become bullish, this is my requirement. Once we break support, a stock must recover that support and then prove that it can hold that support before I'm interested to go long. I want to have that proof of trend resuming in that chart. So keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at um, a few other stocks that are showing some nice signs. I still think this Masco looks very, very good. Masco holding up in here with building being so strong and housing sales so strong. Masco being a building materials um, company holding up well 
continuing to set up, continuing to potentially move higher. Keeping on that same um, same theme, take a look at Warehouser. Warehouser, um, they are a lumber supplier, real estate investment trust, lumber, lumber supplier. And as you can see, holding in here, now we're challenging this price resistance in the chart, but we're holding in here. Notice there's no one wanting to sell. We're just waiting to see if we can grab some of that inspiration in here to maybe pop on through and resume this upside trend. Keep a close eye on on Warehouser looking pretty good overall. Take a look at FedEx. FedEx had a little bit of pullback yesterday, um, but we're still holding up in um, this nice upside move. And with so many people buying online now and the comfort level seems to be really, really high with folks to buy online, this could still can pull back and consolidate. But let's watch this in here. We're definitely in a bullish trend. Coronavirus has definitely improved these stocks a lot. and let's watch for that next leg for the upside move and we also have to watch out for ups for that potential another great chart yesterday was amd now this is challenged by some resistance as you can see we pulled this back we hit this resistance high we really soared i mean stretched out big time here in amd pulled back and now we're consolidating that move. We're back up here pushing against that resistance. But what I wanna point out in this chart is that we could still consolidate over toward this trend, okay? So you may not wanna just jump or rush right into this, but if we get some inspiration in this chart, we could set a new trend off of these lows, set a new trend and this inspire itself higher. I marked 100 up here. Um, 100 is one of those big round numbers that markets like to seek out. If we can handle this resistance in the chart, let's watch for AMD to maybe break out and start stretching up there for those levels. Keep a close eye on that. Um, McDonald's continues in this um, big upward trend and finally yesterday got a little tiny bit of selling. You can see we broke through some resistance in this chart and you can see where I've had this alerted in here for these potential moves to the upside and this last run has been amazing. I would expect some kind of rest or pullback to occur in here relatively soon if not already starting to begin and pull back toward this support and that trend and then we'll want to be watching for that next upside opportunity in that chart. Keep a close eye on those. So there's a few stocks for you to take a look at, add to your list. I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day in your trading. Thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. Make sure you click those thumbs up buttons and click those um, subscribe buttons if you haven't yet. Thanks everyone and be safe. We'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. Have a great day.